people coming together, magic happens, right? Interactions just, just aren't there for you uh, in, a, in a video call. This, this event provides value the, the day you walk in the door. Smoke a huge joint. What's going on, everybody? This is Les from Cannabis Wiki, and guess where the hell I am? I am inside the Convention Center downtown Toronto for the 2001 Lift & Co. Cannabis and Psychedelics Business Conference and Summit. Guess what? I bumped into somebody from 2019, good old friend of mine, Justin from Green Planet. Justin, what's poppin'? Hey, good beer. Man, when I saw this guy, I had to come over, find out what's going on. It's been two years since the last time we talked at a big conference and expo. So, tell us what's poppin'. So, uh, we got into uh, mushrooms. That's a new uh, up-and-coming market, right? The psychedelics <laughs> Uh, just starting to ramp up. Right. Obviously, it's not sold for psychedelics yet, but you can grow any mushroom. So we're now selling a uh, substrate and uh, a knockdown block. So that's your basically your block that you would uh, grow your mycelium in, and then uh, once the mycelium is growing, you knock it into a block and build monotone. Two weeks later, you have mushrooms. Pretty simple. That's simple. That's it. They're already pre-sterilized and uh, completely ready to go. So we want to take all, all the really hard work out of boy mushrooms and make it simple for the consumer to, to jump into your mushrooms. You can in your living room, your kitchen, oyster, shiitake, whatever you want to grow. Like, you can literally uh, inoculate the mushrooms. So what makes this different? from what was done in the past. So a lot, I mean, one of the, one of the major uh, hurdles for a lot of mushroom cultivators in the United States is obviously the sterilization. They don't have access to a massive box of places. They don't have access to the, the technology that goes into the blend of micronutrients and all the elements that go into a really good quality substrate to grow those mushrooms. And so we want to take the, the, the hard work out of it and make it simplified, make it user-friendly, and uh, make it simple for the consumer to wash. It's no different than what we've done for cannabis. Right? We've always tried to have the end consumer success at heart. Right? We're quality focused and results based. That's why we're bringing products like Power Aside, Fish Shit. Um, you know, last, since I last saw you, I mean, growing exposed tutorials on showing people how to cultivate better. You know, the uh, internet's full of misinformation. And, uh, True. And it's, you know, it's so important for people to have access to good information to become successful. If they become successful, naturally we become successful. Well said, well said. Hey guys, you can't take this lightly because I'm going to ask Justin to give a little bit of background of how long he's been in the business and why you should listen to what he's saying. So tell me a little bit about where you come from. So I grew up in Surrey, which was the basic epicenter of PC Bar. I've been in it for 30 years. And uh, back then, if you mentioned cannabis, you were like demonized. They were like, oh my god, you're involved in that. Right? Well, we knew as young kids that this industry kind of it was one day going to be legal. We knew it wasn't bad. We knew it was demonized. You know, if, you, if anybody does their homework on why cannabis is illegal, it comes down to money, racism, and control. That's it. Like some strong words there, my man. Some strong words. Tell me I'm wrong. No, 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 not here. Not from cannabis. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, tell me I'm wrong. You know, the decorticator machine on popular science said it's the next billion dollar crop hemp. And this machine was designed to do it. William Randall Hearst hated it. And he controlled the paper mills, the uh, Chicago Tribune, and they basically uh, ixnayed hemp and took marijuana along with it. At the time, knowing it's cannabis today, uh, it's really unfortunate. So, unfortunately, just about 100 years later, we're still that stigma. That stigma is still around. And, and honestly, uh, part of what I hope to achieve is to destigmatize this plant, be an advocate of this plant, and genuinely know that this plant is changing people's lives for the positive. 
it's not for everyone. And, you know, there's nothing you can say genuinely is for, it, it fits the bill for every person. But when it comes to people getting sick, ill, ailments, pain, age, it's a good solid option. It's a good solid option for a lot of people. It's natural. It's a part of the pharmaceutical, you know, school. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, an event like Lift and Co., what does this do for a gentleman like yourself in Green Bay? Uh, you know, honestly, it's just good to keep people and, and, and get in touch with our customers. You know, it's, uh, our brand's relatively well established. Most people have heard of Green Planet, I think, within the industry. So, um, it's nice to bring new products, like I said, power size, new to Canada. Uh, Fitchit's new to Canada. There's, I mean, all around us, there's, there's products and companies that we're directly tied to. So, it's really good to come back and align with our manufacturers. Just you know, shake hands, kiss babies. <laughs> Just maybe shake hands. I don't know. No. no, I've always liked sitting and talking with you because you're real. You're a real guy. You're real about the business, and you're always looking out for the best for the customer and the person. Sure. So, just last thing before we go, let everybody know where they can find Green Planet, where they can get their questions answered for things that you guys can find. Sure. sure. So we uh, we're in control of a, a, a channel called GrowYourFour.com. So if you look up Grow Your Four on the internet. Uh, Please go look at uh, Growing Exposed. That is a channel that we're really, really proud of because we highlighted the whole industry and trying to destigmatize everything that's going on. And the more we can all do to become, you know, this industry, unfortunately, is a little bit fractured. Right? The more we can all come together, we're all on the same page, we're all in cannabis, the more we can, you know, rising tides raise all ships. Right? The more shit we can do together, collectively, the better off we're going to be. Love it. Guys, from Justin, less from Cannabis Wiki, Green Planet, 2021, Lifting Co., Cannabis, and Psychedelics Business Conference Summit. Yo, we out. We out. My man. Thank you. Love seeing you. Love seeing you. Peace.